Okay, well, at this AES, Korg is uh, showing uh, two one-bit recorders that are now shipping. Our MR1, which is the uh, more uh, small profile of our one-bit recorders, and the MR1000, which is um, the most professional high-spec one-bit recorder that's available at the moment. These recorders are both two-track and record in a multiple of formats, uh, PCM, such as um, you know, from 1644 to 2448, 96, 192, and even MP3s. But the unique feature about these products is that they record in one-bit format. Uh, the uh, MR1 does 2.8 megahertz, which is the standard for products like Sony's SACD. But uh, this is the first recorder that's released that records at 5.6 megahertz, which is the highest uh, one-bit resolution there is. And the thing about one bit, uh, these one-bit recorders is they record every frequency from zero DC offset to 100 kilohertz. No filters, no EQ, no change of the sound. What goes in is exactly what is stored. Both units have hard drives built in. The MR1 has a 20 gigabyte hard drive. The MR1000 has a 40 gigabyte hard drive, which even at recording at 5.6 megahertz still gives you a few hours of stereo recording. The MR1 has two uh, mono mic lines in, headphones out, and a menu control that's uh, operated by the joy wheel and buttons here. The MR1000 has balanced I.O. and unbalanced um, phantom power for the inputs. Both recorders ship with a, uh, a software program called AudioGate, a cross-platform software uh, program. Cross-platform software program. It's not as easy to say as it sounds. And um, it, can, it, it takes through USB all of the audio from your MR1 or M1000 into the computer. And then I can just simply go to the export button here and then convert through the drop down menu down to 24, 192, 96, 16 bit down to 44 or even MP3. Now it's a strange thing to say that you're going to go down to 24192 when for a lot of people that's currently the highest standard there is. But in fact there are virtually no true 24-bit A to D converters on the market. They're all one bit. And they sample at 2.8 megahertz and then they have a decimation filter inside that cuts out 90% of the audio to store at 24-bit 192. And the difference between the quality of A to D converters typically is the difference of the decimation filters. So a converter that sounds better has got better decimation, but still it's decimating. So not only do you get extraordinary analog quality sound in a digital format, but using audio gate you future proof your mix. And the reason it's future proof is by being one bit everything is stored. At any point you can go back and take down from there to 24 or 16 bit and today the standard might be 192,000 samples a second in a few years it could be 24 382 386 or whatever it is and the one bit still has more data so you future proof your recordings the 40 gig hard drive or 20 gig hard drive goes through USB into your computer using DSD an industry standard one bit format and once inside, you can just burn that as a data file onto a DVD or Blu-ray disc or HD DVD for storage for as long as you want, as long as you make regular backups. So Korg's uh, broken out of the MI uh, field, but we have some engineers in-house that studied with the, uh, the uh, guy in Tokyo who invented one-bit recording. And already we've got some serious mastering and mixing houses that are using the MR1000 for their final mixes and masters.